when you leave a coach, it's not always just because they didn't hit the peak. Maybe there are other things that you don't know about that Samson is too classy to reveal. Too cla Samson is too classy to reveal. So when you use the word classy, that's alluding to, say, to, to mean that Milos did something that Samson is too classy to put out there into the public eye. Think about that for a second. <laughs> what would have what would Milos have done that's not classy? That's not a good thing. That's not a good look that Samson can't even mention it. We want to we want to know something. There's something that Milos should mention. But right now, Milos is being the classy one by not saying anything. He's trying to take the higher ground. I I get it. He doesn't want the drama. But this just just took it to another level because now Fuad is pinning something against Milos. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Muscle Discord. And I had to jump on here and make a quick video, a quick reaction video to this video I just saw Fuad post on Bro Chat. This is today, March 27th. And I just had to react to this because here again, once again, Fuad is defending Samson to the nines here. Okay. And it's just getting a little bit weird now. And especially now that. Huad gives a little bit more insight to what happened or is alluding to something more that happened between Milos and Samson, Dauda. Uh, it's, you know, I've been married aware of some information, right? And I'm not at will to, to say it because I, I got that information confidentially, right? By someone that's very close to Milos. I'm not going to say who it is. But they told me we had a talk on the phone and they spilled the tea to me and I'm going to respect that. I'm hoping that the information comes out, but it hasn't yet. And then for me to see this and it's like turning the tables against Milos as if Milos did something wrong. So let's watch this going on a little bit of a rant there, but let's watch this. Let's dive into it and then we'll react on the other side. You know, I, I have to say this, just to, in defense of Samson. You know, I know you guys all know I'm biased. Milos did a great job with Samson putting on a lot of muscle. And Samson, obviously, is very grateful to Milos for that. But I think what happened was they did 13 shows together, and Milos was never able to hit that peak. And at the end of it there, a lot of people were saying, well, Samson, maybe he's like a Lionel Bayeki. Maybe he's like a J.D. Dawoodoo, or maybe he's like a... All these, you know, pe people in the past that we saw almost get there. Maybe he's like a Cedric. He just can't get that fully shredded look. Maybe he's thick skin. So they were never able to reach that, like, ultimate peak together. And people say, well, it's Samson's fault. Maybe he wasn't suffering enough. I'm like, okay, well, you can say that. You don't really know. You're just going by one person's word. But what we did see was, and I'm not saying Mel is a better coach than Samson or, or than Milos or anything. All I'm saying is, that last show gave a glimmer of oh, wait a minute he can there, get there is more to this yeah, yeah he yep. can get he can get thinner skin he can't did it though guys really did it did samson look that much different from the arnold classic ohio to the uk i don't think he did i think he looked flatter and smaller and deflated and that was about it the glutes and hams looked the same so i again i don't get why they're even saying that oh there's a glimmer of hope he looks a little bit more conditioned he looked the same bro and get more shredded so it's like and i kind of feel bad for samson because people are like oh he's not thankful to milos i'm like he is thankful to milos he's very thank he's very thankful to milos and he had a long conversation with me and said this is a very tough decision because if anybody is loyal on this earth it's fucking samson samson's been with hostile for going on four years now and he's had a lot of offers Samson has had a lot of offers come his way from other companies and he stayed loyal to us. So Samson is a loyal person and he was loyal to Milos. But when you're 36 years old or 37 years old, put yourself in Samson's shoes. You've done 13 shows now. You haven't really been able to fucking nail it. 
So you have to say to yourself, okay, I have only a few years left. What do I do? Do I ride this out and keep trying to get 90% there? Or do I see if I can hit 100? Yeah. Especially when especially when every judge you speak to gives you the same info. You need to be shredded. You need to be shredded. You need to peak better. Yeah. Well, you have to. And then the second thing is, and I, and I don't want to reveal too much, but like a lot of people that are making these comments about Milos and Samson don't know a lot of the other story. Oh, I know the other side of the story here. Who what? I know it 100%, and it's not good. And what Fuad is about to say here is very concerning, in my opinion. And it's just, it's, um, I, don't, I don't know if he's trying to create a narrative here. When you leave a coach, it's not always just because they didn't hit the peak. Maybe there are other things that you don't know about that Samson is too classy to reveal. Too cla Samson is too classy to reveal. So when you use the word classy, that's alluding to say to, to mean that Milos did something that Samson is too classy to put out there into the public eye. Think about that for a second. <laughs> what would have what would Milos have done that's not classy? That's not a good thing. That's not a good look that Samson can't even mention it. We want to want to know something. There's something that Milos should mention. But right now, Milos is being the classy one by not saying anything. He's trying to take the higher ground. I, I get it. He doesn't want the drama. But this just this, this took it to another level because now Fuad is pinning something against Milos saying that, Samson can't talk about it because it's he's just trying to be classy about it and not bring it up. You can't even you can't put that out there, Huad. Now everybody's going to want to know what the fuck is going on between Milos and Samson with regards to this. Classy to speak about, and he's just not saying anything. So I think people should really just take a deep breath. This is a professional fucking, it's a professional career sport. Coaches change. At yeah, so act professional. Let go of your coach professionally, right? Don't do it through a social media post where the coach doesn't even know about it until everyone else finds out about it, right? And then he, he messaged uh, Milos in, through a text message, not even a fucking phone call. I said, hey, man, you know, we're, we're done, you know, whatever. And then 13 days goes by without no correspondence. Like, and you're, and then you make a, a half a paragraph post on social media saying, oh, it was great. You helped me over the past two and a half years and blah, blah, blah. And uh, we're, you know, we're, we're still friends and I wish you the best. That's bullshit. It's what the pathetic post. The pathetic thank you. And then, you know, I kind of got to push back on Milos a little bit for taking it like that and still being a huge advocate for Samson Dowda. Like, I mean, come on, man. Grow, I mean, just defend yourself a little bit. Because if people knew what Samson actually did to Milos, they would be shocked. And the reason why I'm so upset now, because I heard Fuad say this, that Samson's trying to be the better man, be the classy man, and not really, you know, reveal what happened between them. That's shocking to me. That's just disrespect right there. Athletes change coaches all the time. Yeah. And you don't, you don't I, I would say Milos owes Samson just as much as Samson owes Milos. Okay. That, wow. Wow, Fuad, really? <laughs> Milos owes Samson now. What the fuck is that? Did, didn't Samson reach out to Milos to coach him to make him a better bodybuilder? It's not the other way around, right? <laughs> Milos was like, "Hey, Samson, can I coach you? And so you can make me a better athlete, and then you'll get you'll get you know, your stock as a coach will go up, and you'll be a better coach." Like, what the fuck is that? Milos is a legend. Everybody knows who Milos is. 
That's why Samson reached out to Milos, Fuad. What the fuck are you talking about? Milos got a lot of popularity out of Samson, out of coaching. Samson. Milos got a lot. What? This is like in delusional world, world right now. Like, what is this? He was coaching, I think, and I don't know, I don't know Milos's entire, um, his entire roster over the course of his entire coaching career. But I don't know if Sam, if Milos has ever had a third place guy at the Olympia. So that really raises champion. or and an Arnold champion. I mean, that really raises a coach's stock. So if you want to look at it that way, you could say, well, Samson helped Milos just as much as Milos helped Samson. Sometimes yeah. just a change for someone at a certain point. Their yeah, I don't agree with that. Versus, you know, Dahani. You understand this you know, like people getting like butt hurt about changing coaches. It's like, yeah, sometimes it can change. Great. We're not we're not butt hurt about Samson changing a coach. Who cares? People do that all the time. Nick, I talk, I had Nick Walker on the show. Same thing. He left. Matt Jensen. He made a public post about it. Very professional post saying, hey guys, you know what? I'm moving on. Blah, blah, blah. This is why got in front of it, right? Professional. Okay. This is why we're having the discussion now and it's gotten to where it is. It's because of the way Samson conducted himself, the way he reacted to the fans, the way he called out his fans for coming at him and humiliating him and his family and some weird shit that didn't even make sense because he's the one that started all the speculation in his stories. So I'm I'm getting riled up about this because Fuad keeps digging it in more and more into the knife into Milos's back, and it's like, do you give step back a little bit? Does I don't know if Fuad knows the whole story. He felt that he you know it wanted to try something different. Who fucking cares? Like what what is the problem? It's so weird to like care about you know. Yeah, I, I don't. Anyway, it's fine. I mean, people can care about it. People have their opinions. It's whatever. I'm just trying to shed a little bit more light on the fact as to why. But I, I just don't understand in the, in the same breath. It's like, do, are people suggesting that he should just stay with one coach forever? Yeah. I think. Oh, no, Ian, that's not what coach. we're saying. Cut the line there. It's like, okay, well, I, I, you know, clock's ticking. I want to see better version of myself. I'm not, not that I'm not thankful for. Yeah. Is, is Samson doing all the work? Is he doing the cardio that Milos is suggesting? Is he eating fish that Milos suggests he eats to help with the skin texture? No, Samson doesn't like to eat fish. So he doesn't eat it. He doesn't listen to his coach. He's done a lot for me. I won the Arnold. We've been top of the Olympia. That's great. I'm very thankful for all of that, but I know there, there is potentially, maybe there isn't, I don't maybe know. There, I maybe there, maybe, maybe there's, there's, yeah. But I need to go and try and see. We've yeah. been about the same, slowly progressing, but the clock is ticking. I want to try something new. Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? You know, yeah, well, you, yeah. you guys both switched coaches throughout your careers, and it wasn't anything personal yeah. or anything like that. I mean, it was just because of our change. Look, at, if this was, let's take Ian, for example. Ian took two top 10 finishes at the Olympia with Patrick, and then he went back to Matt. Yeah. So it's not like, oh, so because he took two top 10 finishes with Patrick. It should... doesn't matter about, that's not even the, the point of it. Anyway, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, we're not making a big deal that Samson left Milos. We're making a big deal, if you want to call it that, how Samson kicked Milos to the ditch and then stepped on his face while he was at it, pretty much, with the disrespect that Samson showed to Milos. And I don't know why Milos is being so kind to Samson. Because he doesn't need to do that. I know Samson's a big name in the sport. He's you know, top three in the world right now, all, all the hype is around him. So maybe Milos is just kind of being, you know, nice and trying to take the high road. But at the end of the day, the truth needs to come out. And I hope it does. All right, guys. I will catch you guys on the next one. Please remember to like and subscribe. All right. Peace.